Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Dr. Love. Um, we could just give her another round of applause. At this time, we have uh, Isabel DePina, our uh, student who will be introducing uh, Counselor Tania Anderson. Hello again. Black lives do matters, okay? Until then, we will, we can't, we will get justice. Um, so I'm introducing Tanya Anderson, who was elected to Boston City Council in 2021, becoming the first African immigrant and Muslim American selected to be a Boston City Council. She's proudly represent District 7, consistent of Roxbury, Dorchester, Fenway, and part of South End. Before serving as a counselor, Anderson was the executive director of Bowdoin Geneva Main Streets, a parent advocate with the Boston Public School, program manager for a homeless women's shelter, a business owner, and a child social worker, the equitable distributor of mental health service has always been near to her heart, which is why she always been, okay, hold on, which, is, which is why she founded Noah Ad Advocate, a trauma-informed mental health nonprofit that serve underrepresented under communities. She is also the founder of a nonprofit that support at-risk youth through in theater, fashion, and art. She has been a foster mom to 17 kids while raising two biologic, biologic children. Thank you, Tanya. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, they did mention the fashion and arts part, so what sucks about this is that I can't carry my mic and do the runway thing that I usually do for y'all, but it's all right, this will do. Um, how y'all doing? Good. For, first of all, I wanna wish um, peace, and, peace and blessings to you all. Um, in my tradition um, or my way of life, I say, assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, and I just wanted to first acknowledge the room. I think it's fantastic that we have so many um, allies here, people that's taken time out of their schedule to be here, but also um, our white brothers and sisters in the house. It's important to identify. I do see your color. You're white. You're here. I love it. Um, and so I just, uh, I think in terms of what we wanted to talk about here today, I think uh, it's always about showing us the money, right? We're kind of tired of the typical conversation, of the diluted conversation on why black lives matter. I mean, we gotta nurture the babies and breastfeed your kids and take care of everything and be oppressed and be in this country and then do, go through all of that and then plus tell you black lives matter. It's exhausting. It's so exhausting. So I wanna see it and everybody here, I think, who wants to see actual intentional budgetary investments in black neighborhoods. So in the city council, thank you, I'm happy we agree. Um, in the city council, I am the first black woman to chair Ways and Means. It's, it's kind of, it feels token, tokenizing to even say that, right? But it's super important. When we say black lives matter, to me, as an African woman, who immigrated here from the west coast of Africa, Cape Verde, at the age of 10, to the ghettos. Oh, I, do I love the ghetto. And by the way, don't let nobody tell y'all ghetto is a bad thing. Everybody loves the ghetto. They all want to be here. So, to the ghettos of Academy Homes. Anybody from Academy Homes? No? <laughs> and then, the li hey, light side. Karma Park. Lyside, I heard her. I remember you. <laughs> um, but we're going to keep it plain, right? 
We're going to talk about, I, briefly, I just wanted to address the tokenism that the city of Boston, the most racist city in America, and one of the most wealthiest city in America, um, offers us, and how they give us crumbs, and how we have to deal with the politics of some of the, our colleagues that have soapbox narratives that they do appease our ears, don't they? They say stuff like equity. They say, um, you know, we have, to re we have to include the black and brown people. They say stuff like, we have to make sure that it's culturally competent. And so we're at a point where we've evolved in Boston and we understand sort of that the segregation and we understand the harm and we've gotten here to a point where you have black women budgeting or sitting on the chair ways and means. And so in the process of preparing for the budget, we have to look at capital and we have to look at operating. Operating all the monies that goes to departments to be spent on services. Capital, everything that is building infrastructure or facilities or schools or real investments. And when you look at that, last year's budget for Mattapan, all of $56 million was invested. Do you want to know what Fenway got? Over $300 million. Chinatown, over $300 million. And the list goes on and on and on. When you compare, even Dorchester, um, District 4 got $56 million as well. Hyde Park, Mattapan, $56 million. And you have to extend some grace to our mayor that's here today, right? Because the budget is a continuation of the previous administration. But now, we have a new budget coming. That's exciting. I'm looking forward to talking about how we can actually invest in social determinants of health in black and brown communities and our most vulnerable populations. I'm looking forward to how you're going to truly mean that racism is a public health crisis. I encourage all of you to please reach out to me or to the mayor or lobby all of your elected officials in the city of Boston to talk about how they're going to invest capital investment in black and brown communities so that we can actually uh, resolve some of our uh, gun violence and all of these other issues. I'm not gonna take up much of your time. I didn't, um, I prepared a speech and then I got bored with it myself. So I wanted to just give it to you raw. It is what it is. We are, we're not gonna keep telling you about how human we are or how important or when we die that we hurt just as much if you lost a son or a daughter. We don't have to appeal to your better nature for you to see that our blood runs red like yours. You understand that. We're not fooling each other. And the people here, hopefully this message and our messages get through the people that are not here. Because <laughs> I'm preaching to the choir, right? You're here for a reason. But first we have to pay homage to the African American people. I'm a black woman, I come from Africa, and I don't know, I can't necessarily tell you about being an African-American or a black-born American. But I know that black women, born native black women in America, saved my life. I know they saved your lives. I know they protect our community. So when you hear conversations about black people, I ask that all the immigrant, black and brown, pay homage, pay their respect, do not dilute the conversation. Black American first, then black diaspora. Because you understand that colorism is real. You understand that we have benefited from all of the advancements that they've paved the way for us. And so it's important that we are honest, that we prioritize black Americans first, and that we invest the most capital in black American communities, and everyone else will be okay after that. Thank you. God bless you.
All right. I have the esteemed pleasure of announcing our Outstanding Community Artists Awards on this third annual 2022 Black Lives Matter Day. Our first recipient of our Outstanding Community Artists Award is Ms. Vanya J. Arroyo. <laughs> Vanya is a professional photographer, makeup artist, creative, and educator. Born and raised in Boston, Massachusetts, she knew that she had an eye for makeup and photography since the age of 11. By the age of 15, Vanya was well on her way to beginning her career as a professional makeup artist. By the age of 21, she moved to Los Angeles, California, where she studied makeup artistry at the MKC Beauty Academy of Hollywood. At age 22, Vanya picked up her camera in a Nikon D90 and began the journey of learning the art of photography. Over the last 10 years, Vanya has worked with celebrities, photographed luxurious weddings around the world, and her work has been seen by multiple publications. There are no words that can fully encapsulate the transformative impact that Vanya has had, not only on the city of Boston, but beyond. She has used her gifts and talents to express what we would call for today a beautiful resistance, not only for racial justice, but social justice overall. I'd like to ask each of you all to stand and give a round of applause to our outstanding community artist, Ms. Vanya J. Arroyo. Good afternoon. I didn't know I was gonna speak, so I don't have nothing really prepared. Um, but I just wanna tell everybody thank you. It really is an honor for me. Um, this award is being presented to me for my photo documentary project that I have going on. It's called Black Brown Boston. You can follow me on Instagram. Basically, I document and I interview black and brown people from around the city and I share their stories. Um, I don't focus on the negativity happening in the hood. I don't focus on any of that stuff. Um, there's enough people talking about it, so I do the opposite. I try to showcase us in a positive light. Um, <clears throat> I started the project because as a photographer, 15 years traveling around the world, people, I'm born and raised here in Boston. People are always shocked to find out that I'm from here. They're like, you're from Boston? There's black people out there? They look like you? They sound like you? Where's your accent? And yeah, I know y'all saw that meme. I'm from um, Bobby Brown, Boston, not, what's his name? <laughs> not Mark Wahlberg, Boston. Um, so I don't have the Boston accent, but this is my Boston accent. And that's, that's why I do the project. When a lot of people come, a lot of people actually hit me up through my blogging page when they're coming here. Um, to find out where the black and brown people are. That's the number one question I get from anybody who hits me up on my page. They're like, where do I go? The first place I always tell them, Daryl's, cater the food tonight, favorite restaurant in the city. Um, but that's the goal. So Black Brown Boston, you guys can follow the project. We'll be releasing a book next year that's gonna have all of the interviews and stories of the black and brown people from um, our neighborhoods. And so I appreciate the honor, thank you. Right, our next Outstanding Community Artist Award for the third annual 2022 Black Lives Matter Day is awarded to Ms. Catherine T. Morris. Catherine is the... <laughs> Catherine is the founder and artistic director of the Boston Arts Music Soul Fest, also known as BAMS Fest, and Director of Arts and Culture at the Boston Foundation. Over the last 20 years, she spent her life creating platforms 
that amplify black creatives as well as mobilizing and engaging local audiences to experience the arts. Catherine has been a presenter, panelist, and moderator with many organizations such as Spark Boston, Podcast Garage, Berkeley College of Music, Northeastern University, Massachusetts Institute for Technology, and the Museum of Fine Arts. She is a 2018 National Art Strategies Creative Community Fellow and has served on a grant review panels for the Cambridge Arts Council, the Lewis Prize for Music, and the Boston Neighborhood Fellowship. Catherine's hope is that BAM's Fest becomes a pipeline to Boston arts and culture ecosystem and a creative economy in a manner that minimizes implicit bias, closes the racial wealth gap, inspires hope, and positively impacts the livelihoods of future creatives. Catherine was here earlier as one of our workshop facilitators, or as one of our panelists. Um, she had to leave early due to a meeting, but if we could, please, all those in attendance, please rise and give Catherine T. Morris a round of applause for receiving this award. Our third recipient for our Outstanding Community Artist Award for the third annual 2022 Black Lives Matter Day event is Mr. Rob Pro Black Gibbs. <laughs> Rob Pro Black Gibbs is a visual artist and organizer who has transformed the cultural landscape of Boston through graffiti art since 1991. Growing up in Roxbury during the hip hop golden age, Pro Black saw the power of graffiti as a form of self-expression. His vision to beautify the predominantly black and brown communities of Boston is a driving force behind his artistic practice. Pro Black envisioned graffiti and hip hop as avenues to reach and educate the youth of the city. In 1991, he co-founded Artists for Humanity, an arts nonprofit that hires and teaches youth creative skills ranging from painting to screen printing to 3D model making. For the past 29 years, Pro Black has mentored and guided countless youth at AFH as they set sail on their artistic endeavors. He's proud to continue his work as the director of AFH's paint studio. Pro Black is the recipient of, number, of a number of awards, including the 2006 Graffiti Artist of the Year Award from the Mass Industry Committee and the Good Night Initiative Civic Artist Award. In 2022, he was honored with the Hero Among Us Award by the Boston Celtics. Mr. Pro Black Gibbs was unable to be with us today due to a schedule conflict, but one more time, just gonna ask everyone to stand and give him a round of applause for his outstanding work in the community. Thank you all, thank you all. We have one more awards presentation and then we will transition into our concert aspect of the event. We have three outstanding artists who will be performing, very talented, very excited to welcome them. One thing I wanna say before we transition into our Black Veterans uh, Award portion of the event, I'm hoping everyone here today will, I'm hoping everyone here today will walk away being inspired in understanding that a lot of the negative stereotypes you see about black people on the media are just that, stereotypes and misrepresentations. All of the artists, all the people that you've heard today have, dig have exhibited dignity, have exhibited courage, are brilliant, care about their communities, care about their families, and more importantly, exhibit their humanity at the highest level. So I'm hoping that what you've been exposed to today will continue to encourage you to share their work, to support their work, and within your power, do not perpetuate anti-black racism through stereotypes, through policies, through practices. So I just wanted to make that clear. November 3rd is Veterans Day in the United States. Throughout the history of the United States, African Americans, black people across the African diaspora have put their lives on the line to serve their country, to protect their families, to protect communities, and to fight for civil and human rights. We honor all of our veterans across all races, 
throughout for their service and particularly for those who have served not only in uniform to fight for this country, but specifically to serve for the protection of human rights for all people and especially black people here in the United States. Our first black veteran who's also connected to UMass Boston that we would like to honor is Haywood Fennell of the United States Army. I'm not sure if Haywood is able to be here today, but if we could stand and give him a round of applause. Thank you for your service, Haywood. We also would like to honor Willie Skinner, also a veteran of the United States Army. If Willie's here, please come forward. If not, we will stand and clap on your behalf. And all of the veterans that we're honoring were either former students, faculty, or staff here at UMass Boston. I know this gentleman is here, and many of you know him. In addition to his military background, I'm gonna brag on him a little bit more because I know him personally. He is the founder of My Brother's Keeper here at the University of Massachusetts, Boston. He is a mentor. He is a mentor to countless young black boys and young men throughout the entire university as well as here in the greater Boston area. He loves empowering young black men and improving the black community. Anybody who's ever met Anthony Tony Martin knows that he has a passion for igniting change and for staying the course. And in addition to his outstanding community work, we also want to honor him as being a member, a veteran of the United States Coast Guard. Mr. Anthony Tony Martin, we'd like for you to come up and receive your award. We also, uh, we weren't able to get the images and the names, but we have two other uh, black veterans that we would like to recognize today. Mr. Derek Smith, we'd like to honor you in recognition and in light of your service to our country and leadership in our community. So we could just give Derek Smith a round of applause. And our fifth a uh, black veteran that we would like to honor today, Mr. Dayquell Dennis, who I'm proud to say is a current student in the Sport Leadership and Administration Program. Thank you, Dayquell, for your service and in recognition of your service to your country and leadership in our community. So as we transition to the final portion of our day, I uh, want to encourage everybody that tomorrow is election day. Please, we encourage you to exercise your civic engagement. Uh, individuals risk their lives in the past and the present for us to have the right to exercise our right to vote. So we ask that you do that. Also, November 7th is Veterans Day. So as we did today, we encourage everyone to pay tribute and honor our veterans who have served um, here, not only uh, within the United States, but also abroad. It is my esteemed pleasure to transition to the final portion of the day. We've had poetry, we've had spoken word, we've learned about meditation, we've learned about self-care, we've learned about the hip-hop archives, we've learned about artistic music and dance expression all across the African and black diaspora. And now we have three award-winning, outstanding artists who will be coming and giving powerful presentations and performances on what they have created throughout their lives, using their lives as a testimony for the greatness that is within, particularly overcoming pain, overcoming adversity, overcoming negativity. 
And so the one clearing call that I want everyone to walk away from Black Lives Matter today, yes, we can, yes, we will, and the journey and the struggle continues. So without further ado, we are excited to have DJ Chubby Chubb on the ones and twos. We have first performing Mrs. Jasmine Red. After Jasmine Red's performance, Isabel will come and introduce our final two performers. together. Hold on, wait a second. Uh, so, like I said, my name is Jasmine Red, and if somebody could help me out with this, because I only got one hand. <laughs> I'm really tall, so there was no way that was going to work. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you might not know, but I am cutting in and then, uh, 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 uh. am I good? Am I good? Am I good? Am I good? Uh, so maybe I need another mic. So uh, a lot of y'all might know I actually am a UMass Boston alum. <laughs> I went to school here. For my first two years, anyway. I went to school here for my first two years, and I actually studied Africana Studies, and I studied Africana Studies under Professor Vandermeer, who spoke earlier today. So shout out to Professor Vandermeer. 
Shout out to him. Uh, he was a really big influence on me. And this next song that we're going to get into is called Shooter. And um, this song features the voice of Asada Shakur. And I was always one of those kids in school, especially in history class, that was like, wait a minute. How come none of these people in this history book look like me? Or like my dad? Or like my aunties? Or like my nana? Like, there's something that's not being talked about right now. I, I can see that, right? And so when I came here, and I got to study Africana studies, it really kicked the door down on my education. And we read Asada in Professor Vandermeer's class. And so this song is really special to me because it features her voice, and we're going to get into that right now. Thank you, Chair. Educate a nation, compassion and accountability. We misplace them. I can't even trace them to the place that we erase them. Rapers in the eye of the oppressor, deface them. How can you defile a child and fear no consequence? How can you abuse a woman and condemn violence? <laughs> a product of entitlement, the sum of our corruption, a plague on the environment where little black girls ain't even thought of as human when a woman could give life and a body's considered born when black hair and pride. Bodies are not worthy when I'm only valued after 10 bands of surgery where history her perjury has misled our people and the guys of white lies has tried to mask the evil. Art is lethal, they figured that out too. Artists write prescriptions for them drugs that you use. Pop this, sip that, that life you choose. Freedom ain't free if they selling you to you. Plastic and packaged, ready to distribute the war on drugs, but it's you us who contribute. For survival, the pen starts more than their rifles. For survival, shoot us, shoot us, shoot us. Ain't nothing in this world stronger than a mother's love, and I ain't had no babies yet, but I don't know. <laughs> These my kids you killing, my children missing, my sons and daughters getting stuck on them syringes, caught up in the system, just another victim, he put his hands up, and you still killed them, but nah, you ain't a villain, just doing your job, but if it was a civilian, then they'd be behind bars, come on, Sarge, you above the law, choosing who lives or dies, who made you guard, you destroying us, I'm just trying to even the odds up, remember stories, how you left my ancestors scarred. Feathered and tarred up, but you want us to forget why MAGA hat clansmen want a noose around my neck because I pose a threat. I'm young, black, and seen. I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. We survived and thrived in the dirt. You threw us in, but we grew again from blood, sweat, and tears we rooted in. I'm your child, America. You can't deny me. Justice been blind. It's about she sees how they touched and traumatized. Let you can gentrify the hood, you'll never gentrify me. I'm the product of marches, high fists, and blood spill. Descendants of a revolution you can never kill. Feel for survival. Feel for survival. Shoot us, shoot us, shoot us. To his head, blood on the flag, no chance to regret now. Who's next? Built for survival. I shot him down. Blood on my hands, watching the rivers of Almighty Jordan now. Who's next? Built for survival. One hand to God, one hand on the Bible. One hand on the Bible. The pen sets more than the rifle. The principles that govern the United States. I advocate self-determination for my people and for all oppressed people inside the United States. I advocate the abolition of capitalist exploitation, the abolition of poverty. then I am totally guilty. Whew. Huh? No? Huh? They told me I have a 30-minute set. 
Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ah, all right, so this next track we're going to get into, this track is called Strange Fruit. It is an ode to the one and only Lady Day, Billie Holiday. Let's rock. me, huh? <laughs> You've been neglecting me, huh? Every single book, every time I look, everybody shook at the black glove fisted one. I checked out the text that you forced to be read, and every single page said we ain't sh but that ain't the truth. That's what you tell you, so they won't grow up and explode on you. Thoughts is power, and if you thought you was power, then imagine how the rich beat devoured. It's a pyramid, baby. They at the top, but we built them things just in case you got the streets paid on the backs of slaves. Well, if you made on my ancestors' graves, rich in money, but you sold depraved, then one day you gon' lay at the roots that you made, uh. those trees, blood at the root, blood on the leaves, strange fruit, from those trees, Imagine for a second, in your grade school lessons, you was taught Malcolm Martin, feel we walk a guard, your side of internalized oppression. Would you love yourself? Would you hate your reflection if you saw men and women with your same complexion? Surviving, thriving in your textbook, flexing, politics, science, philosophy, finance. Most of my heroes wanted only FBI's as black messiahs, black providers, black institutions getting mixed with fire. I get it. You Because what you going to do? You grew when these seeds of these trees go to bleed right through. Let's jump right. We gonna make it. Let's go. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, y'all. So uh, tomorrow is very important because we uh, all need to get out and vote. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get out and vote in every election. Chub, let's skip right to we gonna make it. Skip right to we gonna make it, please. Second to last. If y'all like the music that y'all heard tonight, today. My name is Jasmine Red. Y'all can check me out on jasminered.com. This is the last song we're gonna rock tonight. My, this one is called We Gonna Make It. I hope it leaves y'all with some inspiration to get out there and do what we gotta do to make the world a better place. Let's go. I get a soul clap. Y'all know a soul clap, right? Like this, ready? There we go. I'm screaming black lives matter. It's all love if it's you and I against the world. I swear I got us and I trust my ancestors like the way. We ain't come to play, baby. We came to slay. We are here to stay. Time to make a change and I'ma speak my truth. Even if my voice shakes, we unmistakable. The leaders of the new school created future. There's nothing that we won't do to preserve the peace, right to serve and teach every open ear from the birth to the streets. It's a new day and we write in new ways to love thy neighbor. Ain't that what your books say? We done with the hypocrisy. We over the bureaucracy. We busting down the Berlin walls. You gonna acknowledge me. See the evil in your ways. The terror in your eyes when you hear the people say we and yeah, we gonna we gon' make it, we gon' make it. We gon' make it, we gon' make it. We gon' make it. 
I'm tired of knocking on your door now. I'm busting down the locks, put my feet to the street, and my ballot in the box. You gon' stop us how? You can't stop us now. I see the power in the people when I rock the crowd. Say it loud. We brave and we proud. Fight for tomorrow. We ain't never backing down. Tell your sisters, your brother, your father, your mother, your uncles, your aunties, and your mama, sisters, cousins. We reclaiming our rights, taking control of life. We all in the ring, baby. We still in the fight. We got RBGs and AOCs, and now we got a new weapon she call RBD. And like Ayanna Presley, you don't want to press me. If the truth is a crime, then come on, arrest me. Put my uncle, my n raise my L to the sky with my fist raised. How we on a mission to survive? We. We gon' make it, we gon' make it. 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 We gon' make it and it's gon' feel good. We gon' make it and it's gon' feel good. Uh, we gon' make it and it's gon' feel good. Gonna get in, it's gonna feel it, it. tired of the struggling. I'm tired of the hustling. Pray to God you hear me. We in the fight for equality, and we gonna make it, we gonna make it. I go by the name Jasmine Red, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Short sleeve hoodies in the summertime. I'm a killing now, not another time. Wrist on hurricane, bitch, yeah, flood of mine. Now tell me what you want, though. I'm down to come, though. And put it on you But that's if you never act up And you gotta tell him back off Should I see what he's in the summertime? I'm a killer now, I'm at another time It's time hurricane me, you you blood of mine Now tell me what you want, though I'm down to come, though And put it on you But that's if you never act up And you gotta tell him back off what about team G? Shutting down the venue with my team by two. We don't got time for your weak, weak crew. And you got our own people cheap by two. When you call to the top, watch your lead pass. So we, we have two more performers. They are our first performers. Um, they will perform together, but I'm going to introduce them to it one by one. Mathematics is a man that has always tried to fit in rather than being the man he knew he could be. Mathematics use crime, negative, and hustle mindset to get the attention that many children and fatherless boys crave. After spending time in the state prison system and recovering the house, Mathematics has found himself and his purpose in life through helping others, being of service to others, poetry, mindset, music, mindset, music, and daily discipline. Mathematics is a recovery group specialist, a motivated, motivational and inspirational monster, a recovering a consultant and recovering coach. He never claims to be a perfect man, but a man that daily strives for progress. Thank you and welcome. And also the next, the next performance, performer is A.M. Exit Fame, was born and raised in Boston. He fell in love with hip hop at a young age and his influence by the West Coast artists like Snoop Dogg, The Dog Pound, Tupac, and Death Row Records. As his art progressed, he found inspiration in East Coast artists like Mob Deep, Wu-Tang, Locks, and Nas, because he could relate to them more. His story of recovery and faith has inspired many, and he used his music to get the world attention. Thank you for being here.
Peace, peace. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right. So I'm mathematics. I'm gonna come here today. Me and my me and my brother Exit Fame. I'm gonna do a couple a cappella poems. We're gonna do a couple collaborations together. Before we start, can you just put your hand on your heart for me? For all the people that we've lost to violence in the streets, to all my brothers locked down and, the, and sisters in the federal prison system, to all my people locked down in the state prison system, to all my people locked down in the county, to all the single mothers that are grinding to make it happen, and then to all my people that are struggling from addiction, especially all my people on Mass Ave, because I'm a Mass Ave graduate myself. I'm gonna do this first poem, it's called My Whole Life. My whole life, I've been stigmatized and judged. My need for drugs has been replaced with my need for love. My super ego is a critic. My insecurities are my enemy. 80 cc's of dope was almost the end of me. Every day I woke, it was all about the drugs. My mother begged and pleaded, I took advantage of her love. The feelings I got from drugs define my worth. Resentment and fear were the cause of the hurt. I needed help with the pain, so I put the 12 steps to work. A home group and a sponsor helped me build my self-esteem. Getting a year sober is every addict's dream. Consciously rising every day, activating mindfulness is the true meaning of cream. Love is a priority, self-care is a must. The 12 steps are the pizza, helping others is the crust. Intimacy is mental, the body craves lust. Together we recover, alone we use. There's nine letters in both spiritual and addiction. It's up for you to choose. Never let your past define who you are. Everyone is beautiful. Never hide your scars. Love is the light. Self-acceptance is the key. Addiction is the prison. Helping others set you free. God is the root. Self-reflection is the tree. Man, recovery has more blessings than a sneeze. Peace. What's going on, y'all? Can y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? My name is Exit Fame, man. That's my brother, Math. And I just want to say thank you, Dr. Cooper. Thank you, everybody that's having us here. Shout out you, Mass. Black Lives Matter Day. Just want to give you guys love, man. And um, yeah, man, my story is I'm in recovery myself. I got three years and three months clean, and we still running. We still going. You know what I mean? God is working. He's excellent. And um. I'm gonna give it to a couple of music, man. I represent my, I express myself through hip hop, speaking, and you know what I mean? Just trying to serve God that way. Run it, Chuck. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Shout out Unc Dange, everybody watching on Facebook Live, Instagram Live. You already know, man. Uh. And for anybody that gets, goes through all the pressures, everything that life brings you, I believe it's all a test. It's your job to pass it, man. This song is called Drive Me Crazy. Let's go. Hope it motivates you. Uh, yeah. You see, I stood tall with my back against the wall. Promise when I pop, I'm coming back for my dogs. All my day ones, my family and my baby. I got pressure, I got demons, and they drive me crazy. Whoa. Stood tall with my back against the wall. Promise when I pop, I'm coming back for my dogs. All my day ones, my family and my baby. I got pressure, I got demons, and they drive me crazy. Opportunity knocks, everyone don't get a kick But once I get in the door, I throw it back to B Then he throw it back to D, then we build the faculty Show these kids in the ghetto, your dreams can be reality Sick. It's all a strategy, just keep your focus together Never cross the family, keep your eye on the prize In the limits, the sky, we go through hell to get to heaven But to get in, you gotta die, why? When it rains, it pours, I'm in a storm Fighting to see my son beefing with my firstborn But that's the direct result of being an absent father Type of problems money can fix, so I gotta go harder And I'm sorry to you, mama still working and she retired I can see it in her eyes, my daddy, baby Gotta do it for you, I can't lose it for you On the night she was exhausted, oodles and noodles to do Yeah, I still pray, hit my knees like Kaepernick Feeling like Will in the pursuit of happiness, yeah 
And, and you couldn't, couldn't imagine it, I didn't put those drugs down Just to be average kid, no I stood tall with my back against the wall Promise when I pop I'm coming back with my dogs All my day ones, my family and my baby I got pressure, I got demons and they drive me crazy Whoa, stood tall with my back against the wall Promise when I pop I'm coming back for my dogs All my day ones, my family and my baby I got pressure, I got demons and they drive me crazy Whoa, thanks, that's my water and I stand for something, man. If you ever made it out of anything that is negative, I got this thing called never go back. I pray to never go back. I made a promise on my mama, you should know that. The devil patient waiting on me to go back. And where I'm from, them ops are pop, you should hold Yeah, 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 yeah. And life showed me that ain't nothing fair. There's no feelings in success, I'm done shedding tears. Yeah, and for my son, I will not hold back. I made a promise on my mama, you should know that. Yeah, uh. Felt like the walls was closing in, was gonna end it all. Would've probably pulled the trick if Nick ain't answered the call. In the land with these fake Drakes and these fake Dirks. They say fake it till you make it, but you'll really get hurt. They popping fake perks, but people die for real. It's a loud for nothing, like a fire drill. See, I was outside for real, letting off that nine for real. 17 years of my life inside the system, really inside the jail. I got no time to chill, every second is vital. Was in the ICU, shot nurses taking my vitals. Survived the heavy storms, I don't stress the rain drops. There's always blessing and storms soon as the pain stops. And when that thing pops, you hear the echo like an ad lib. They smacking kids in broad daylight like bad kids. Kids expect to smack before they lose their virginity. Street nightmares and correctional facilities. The streets is filling me, cause I'm R to the E to the A to the L. Only way I can learn success is it's through the times I felt okay. Nightmares of DMX relapse and smoking crack I understood you, Earl And I pray to never go back I made a promise on my mama, you should know that The devil patient waiting on me to go back And where I'm from, them I said, pop you, you should hold that And life showed me that ain't nothing fair There's no feelings of success, I'm done shedding tears Yeah, and for my son, I will not hold that I made a promise on my mama you should know that, yeah, and I pray to never go back. And that's what I stand for, man, my organization, never go back. I'm going to give the mic back to my man, Matt. Peace, peace, peace. Give it up for our Five Mic Fame, Exit Fame. I, I gave him the nickname Five Mic Fame. Appreciate you, DJ Chubby Chubb, for doing your thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is called uh, I Pledge. How many people know how to put up the peace sign? I'm going to need the peace signs up. That's the wrong peace sign. Together we can, divided we fall. The peace signs, that's the universal peace sign right there. Together we can, divided we fall. So if you see people putting up the peace sign like this, that's separation. Together we can, divided we fall. So this next song is I'm gonna, it's called uh, I Pledge. Peace, the acronym for peace, is positive education, always corrects ever, error, and positive elevation always crushes egos. Humility is a solution, ego is the problem. I right, hit me off, Chubbs. Pledge allegiance to the flag of love. I pledge allegiance to always say no to drugs. I pledge and I vow to always give back. I promise you if you're struggling, you can bounce back from crack. I pledge to elevate the minds of the blind. I pledge to teach the youth to stay away from the life of crime. I pledge to stay willing to help my community, both you and and I are, are in, in the, the word, word unity. unity. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of love. Life is like hills, there's highs and lows. Connect to the spirit, it's good for the soul. God's a seventh letter, he's the seven letters in control. 
black youth are being killed. Our black queens are being trafficked. Selling and doing dope has become our use habit. Love has no color. Equality is a must. Rosa Parks been a queen. She just proved it on the bus. Recovery is like money because in God we trust. Raising our used to be kings, this is a must. Love your blackness. Love each other. Love your flaws. Honor your mother. We are not niggas. We're kings and brothers. Love is an action that has no color. Love is a struggle if your skin color is black. The ego is selfish, but the humble give back. It takes love, peace, and happiness to live right in the sack. I promise to always love you in the front and respect you behind your back. Keep it a million. I pledge, what about you? P-E-A-C-E -E. Peace We want peace We want peace Peace We won't stop Thank you, thank you, man. That's my brother Math, man, and all. In the beginning of my journey when I was getting clean because I struggled with drug addiction, gang violence in the streets and everything like that, and um. This is one brother who was there in the beginning for me. I wouldn't even be here doing this in front of you guys with this amazing opportunity. So I got this um, song, Raining Man, and it's basically it's dedicated to anybody. You know, I, I believe God kind of uses the analogies or the terminology. Well, yeah, like we go through storms, you know what I mean? And this song's called Raining, but even though it's raining, the sun shines on me. And um, you can check it out on all platforms. My name's Exit Fame. We could run it, Chuck. We're gonna be all right. Yes, sir. Yeah. And if you've been through something and you made it through, put your hands up right now. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even though it's raining, us and shining on me, these demons wanna pull me down, can't get them off me. We're going around, come around, gonna come on me. And even though it's raining, us and shining on me, yeah. Uh, got a letter in the mail that messed my day up. DOR investigating if I should pay up. They must not know them cash if I send weekly Because my skin color, they won't let my son see me in sight But regardless, you gotta fight The beauty you're having problems, they always gonna give you sight Rock bottom, teach you lessons, mountain tops never could And I'm a Christian, but I wish you would And how much wood could a woodchuck if a woodchuck would? That means sky's the limit, baby, I'm misunderstood Let's get it understood See, I'm proud of my neighborhood But I ain't gang banging pot, I'm trying to show the good um, yeah, that comes from these circumstances Having drug addicts for parents, your skin color hurts your chances On that application, they block our imagination Don't want to get a little shot, but they'll give us a vaccination And I be going through it, broke rapper is aggravating Try to walk the righteous path when the bus is humiliating Make me want to grab the mask and afford to get activated But going back to prison be hard to get acclimated Yeah, yeah, I chase my dreams like they chase the crack I've been there before, I know where they at And my cousins just lost their dad and a little boy just lost his mother. And I think that's all he had, yeah. This is dedicated yeah, to anybody, man, that just going through anything. And I just here to tell you, man, that it will pass. This too shall pass. And I said, um, and even though it's raining, the sun shining on me. These demons want to pull me down, can't get them off me. Well, go around, come around, got come on me. And even though it's raining, put your hands up. Yeah. Yeah. And they're shining on me These demons wanna pull me down, can't get them off me We'll go around, I'll come around, I'll come on me And even though it's raining, that's the shining on me Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exit Fame, you, you already know Oh, you can turn that I thought he was there, he didn't make it <laughs> I appreciate it Alright, so this next piece I'm gonna do is be called, it's called, uh George Floyd slash DMX is kind of like, got a whole bunch of stuff in there about racism. But I know inside the word black, if you took the L out of the word black, what do you got left? So I kind of feel as though that even though racism is holding us back, if we look at that L, not listening to each other is holding black people back. Not teaching each other healthy, each other healthy lifestyles is holding black people back, right? Too many of us are locked up. That's what's holding us back. But one of the most important things
is we're not spreading enough love to each other. And that's what's holding black people back. So although racism is holding us back, we also have to take self-accountability for our actions. Learn how to love yourself so that you can spread love in your community. All right, peace. And I want to thank you, Mass, for having us today, Brother Joseph, Brother Isabel, for putting this on. And I really appreciate it. George Floyd was killed with a white knee. Both Trayvon Martin and Breonna Taylor were killed by white police with black guns. Since we have a black vice president, Joe Biden needs to make ending racism priority number one. It's 2022. Why is racism still here? Why in the land of the free do blacks have to live in fear? Hung from trees for being black. Slaves were killed for reading books. Selling drugs is just a bait. It's doing drugs that gets you hooked. Black history is not a month. I keep trying to tell them that black history is a year. It takes knowledge and wisdom to see things clear. An addict like myself's biggest problem is self-centered fear. For George Floyd's daughter, I will forever shed a tear. Marching and protesting won't bring George Floyd back. But you can trust and believe that in the 80s, and I'm going to say again, you can trust and believe that in the 80s, crack was designed to kill the communities that are black. Unity and love is what the world needs. And just like the sun, we will rise in degrees. Love, kindness, and compassion are a recipe for peace. I still can't believe 27 times my brother told the police that I can't breathe. There's five letters in black, but there's also five letters in white. The most important five letters of all are the five letters in Unite. We need to burn racism like crack in a pipe. Public enemy tried to tell me, don't believe the hype. Spike Lee tried to tell me the power we must fight. Racism will always be the darkness. Love will always be the light. DMX may be gone in the physical form, but his music and his poetry will always give myself and others upliftment in life. Peace, George Floyd, DMX. I hit us off, Jumps. Grips of addiction. I had, I had to, to take, take the, the needle, needle on my arm, arm freedom, the, the pipe up my mouth, and the, the straw on my nose. For 45 years, I tried to fill that void with money, sex, and clothes. I wanted to be my authentic self, but following others I chose, I was all alone, all by myself, when that cell door closed. Drugs gave me an illusion that everything was okay. I had to learn the consequences that in life there's a better way. The 12 steps in God turn your fears into faith. I'm a prime example. There is a solution. You don't have to end up in the graves. Drugs ruins families. Our selfishness ruins vibes. The mental obsession is strong. We find comfort in telling lies. Addiction makes us numb. Recovery makes us wise. My insecurities are real. My big ego's all in disguise. Real. For the drugs, I take a million steps. Mm -hmm. For my recovery, I use one through 12. A relationship with God can free you from the grips of hell. Facts. My heart goes out to those struggling or locked out in a cell. Always love those on my side till they learn to love themselves. Please do, do. This is our last song, man. This guy, this is his song, man. It's amazing. Life's too Should short to waste it. Grips, mama worries, say a prayer. Life is too short. Yeah. Came, came out, out the womb, womb swinging, whole life in a fight. Even, Even my ancestors did, they had to fight for their rights. In that ambulance, of conscious had to fight for my life. Fighting with my demons daily over brown and the white. Now I'm fighting to see my son, I gotta raise him up right. Fighting with my daughter, cause I wasn't there in the life. Say sorry too many times, you'd be a sorry mother. Ask if you were commissary, I was begging to my mother. For the nights I made a supper, pay it back with serenity. That was my second op, I was my worst enemy. One of God's angels amongst the devil. Devil demon. When I told the sun died, I could still hear him screaming. Everything's for a reason and temptation to death. Feel like I'm down a few pieces playing Satan and death.
chest. What was today's, today's mathematics, mathematics tell them knowledge itself? Sober mind, strong and grind, think. And life is too short to be caught up in the grips. Mama worry saying prayers. Life is too short. Had to get myself together for I'm very damn tears. Cause life is too short to be caught up in the grips. Mama worry saying prayers. Life is too short. Had to get myself together for I'm very damn tears. Everybody get home safe. Have a beautiful day. Bring that new year in correctly, man, and keep God first. I'm Exit Fan. Appreciate y'all having us. If you want to follow me on any type of social media, you can go to motivatedbymath.com. All my social media handles are there. If no one told you they love you today, I love you. If no one told you you're special today, you're special. And if you feel unimportant, trust me, you might be the most important person in the room. And with that, mathematics, peace. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know how y'all feel, but that was the best way you could end Black Lives Matter Day. Thank you, Jasmine Red. Thank you, Mathematics. Thank you, Exit Fame. Thank you, DJ Chubby Chubb. That was phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. I hope, you know, with the, the rhythmic delivery, with the great beats, the cadence, the insightful and witty wordplay, I hope you heard the powerful stories that they were communicating. They were communicating about a beautiful resistance against poverty, a beautiful resistance against anti-black racism, a beautiful resistance against addiction, a beautiful resistance against hatred, a beautiful resistance against anything that is trying to dehumanize the spirit of us as black people. And just as they were up here today delivering this content, victory will be won. I leave, my cup is filled today. I certainly hope yours is filled. I wanna thank everyone who was involved in planning this Black Lives Matter Day. I wanna thank all of you online, all of you here in the audience. As I mentioned earlier, the work did not start today. It does not end today. Today was meant to rejuvenate your spirit, to inspire you, to expose you to other community artists, resources. UMass Boston is the university for the people, of the people, by the people. This entire day was connected with community leaders, community artists, community activists, and we are gonna to continue to strengthen those partnerships as we move forward in our efforts to become a leading anti-racist and health-promoting university. Wanna encourage all of those who are here in the room, we have plenty of food left over, so please feel free to take to-go plates. Once again, please continue to stay in touch with UMass Boston, blacklife at umb.edu. Happy to coordinate and support any efforts that you're doing here at the university and in the community and beyond. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you, we appreciate you, and we look forward to doing this again next year. Thank you all. There's food over there again. They're reminding me to let you know there's food. Thank you all online. Have a great rest of your afternoon. <laughs>